Hello, it's Sarah. Um, today I'm going to share some paper bag cards that I've made um, in a swap over at Art and Sassy. And finally got them done down to where I think I have three that I'm going to send. Um, I did start out, however, with the six inch bags and then I looked at the um, what you, how you have to make them and stuff. I think six would have been a little big, although I'm sure she would have accepted these. But these were six inch bags. I made two of them. I didn't actually finish them. I never put a little card in the pocket or a sentiment. But these are done, I think, with the Fairy Rhymes um, Prima paper. Some, um, this is actually a uh, K and Company sticker. I love their stickers, their dimensional stickers. So I didn't actually finish it. I put a few trims and some ribbon, um, and then I did the back. So I did that, and this one is again with the Fairy Rhymes paper, and I matched the card with another little fairy in similar colors. Put a brad there and uh, another dimensional sticker. So those turned out cute, and I definitely will finish those and use them, um, keep them in my stash for gifts for people. And then I ended up finding some 5 inch bags, so I cut these down to, so once you fold up the bottom of the bag to make the pocket, I think I made it to be about 5 and a half by 5. So I went with these for the ones that I'm going to send in for the swap. This is, um, again, the Fairy Rhymes paper and more of the, pre, um, no, Prima, Prima Fairy These are K and Company stickers, the dimensional stickers again, which I love. I did make um, a little, you could either put a gift card in here or just a little message or not use it at all and put whatever you want in the pocket. And then in the back you have, this one actually just says thank you. She said to put kind of a, a generic sentiment on them. So this one I put thank you and put that in the back pocket. So there's that one. And then this one is done with K and Company paper. I made a whole uh, mini album with this. It's called SW Botanical, I think, but I love this paper. I actually bought two stacks of it because it was on clearance at um, Joann's. They had all the stickers and stuff to go with it, so I, of course, bought some of that stuff too. So there's like a little egg there, three-dimensional egg, some flowers. Made this little card out of the paper stack too. Put some trims on there, and then this card says, just saying hello. So that's that one with a little, I don't know what you call these, like a little button. It's a dimensional sticker that I just put there for you to pull the card out. So that's cute. And this one I made with, I think this is called the Primrose Stack. Yes, this is the Primrose Stack. Again, I just put some trims. I didn't want to punch my little half circle here to get the ticket because I wanted to um, just leave the ruler. I stamped because I care down there. So this one's pretty plain. I didn't embellish it too much. Um, I just fussy cut this little birdie out of the paper and then put the rose paper to match. And then the card says, just a note. So that's pretty. I love these paper, paper stacks. They're so pretty. Um, all right, I'll put that in later. This one is the Butterfly Garden Stack from um, Thigh Cuts with a View. And I just put butterflies. These are actually K and Company stickers, the dimensional stickers. This is Fussy Cut from the paper. That's Fussy Cut. Made this little card. You can put a message or a gift card in there. And then this sentiment says, thinking of you again. That paper is so pretty, and I think I just stamped that in brown, and it actually looks like it goes right with it. So cute. In the back. And this one is, so I'm, I'm only going to send three of these, but I just couldn't decide <laughs> which ones to do. This is Prima, oh, I want to say, I think it's Divine. Yeah, it's the Divine paper stack. And actually the 6x6 six six paper stacks are really good for these because you can use like half and half. Like this I think is all one sheet of paper and you just cut it in half because you don't see the other, the bottom part of the paper because it's down inside the pocket. So like see, you can cut it off and then use the bottom part. So it works out good. I put a little button there and a, another um, couple of flowers. This one says, thinking of you again and has the little ballerina there and then I made another little um, good place to put a gift card or why won't you open there you go 
And then I wanted to show you, so I was, I'm going to probably make a few more of these because I'm enjoying them and I think they're really a smart thing. I'd never really heard of paper bag cards before, but I'd seen also a couple people make them the whole length of the bag. So you use the whole bag and then you just fold it in half and you still use the bottom part for your pocket, but these are just shallow pockets because it's only the bottom of the bag. Like this is a whole six inch bag. So I made a couple of these. I had a, only a little bit of my secret garden paper left, so I decided to use that. And then you open it up and there's a, another a place for either a gift card or you can make a note card. I didn't finish this. I didn't finish embellishing because I'll show you why. But this actually has a big place. You could put like the sticker, I mean a stamp sets fit in there really well. You could put whatever, like little ponytail holder things, cutesy things from um, anywhere. But um, so that was my first attempt. But then this one I decided, this is the divine paper again, to put a tie. Like this is just really soft ribbon or lace so that if you do stuff it with things, you can, you can tie it closed so they don't fall out. So I still have to do some more embellishing on this one, but I put a little bit of lace trim. And then you open it up, and I had a cup, a stamp set with the um, Eiffel Tower in Paris, so that matched. So I did that and made a little place to write a note or put a gift card in the pocket. Left that plain, made a little banner, and just um, glued it up, uh, up on um, dimensionals and put that up above. And then I did make a card to go inside too. That just says bonjour. And then um, I left a place for you to actually write a message or you, I could put another sentiment in there too. Um, but it just says hello. And so this is kind of not really, doesn't really have a message yet. And then you could put, like I said, you can put stuff in there. And then when you fill it up with your goodies, you can tie it shut so that your goodies don't fall out. And then I did the back and I'll probably put handmade by or something on the back, which I need to start doing and um, dating everything too. So that was what I did for my paper bag swap. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to continue to make these because I really think they're a good idea. And my kids are grown now and we do a lot of gift cards. All my nieces and nephews are grown. Um, I'm a grandma. So I have like, <laughs> you know, I have a lot of grown up kids to give gifts to. Um, and these work out really well to put a gift card and then you can just write a little sentiment in the back. And then if you wanted to, you do one of these where you can actually fit a little, you know, a little extra goodie in the back for, um, for some of them. So that's it for now. I just wanted to share my cards and thanks for watching.